Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the uh, Golden Opportunities Coaching and Progressive Logic YouTube channel. This is the uh, AEW Dark Elevation Review for the uh, 7th of um, June 2021. 10 matches, shorter show than normal, and much more concise, which is a good thing. Um, It'll make the review easier to get through. The show is easier to get through as well. Jake Cargill with Smart Mark Sterling defeating Roche Chanel. Uh, match sees the return of Chanel. I, I don't necessarily think she needs to be on the program. She's not that uh, strong. Uh, she had lost to Kaylin, Kaylin King last. And uh, first time Cargill and Sterling officially work as a unit in this match. This is a dominant performance from Cargill as it should be. Uh, she wins in a matter of seconds with the jaded post-match, and Sterling cuts a promo, putting himself and uh, Cargill, who is now 7-0 and over as the best in the women's division, which, honestly, she's got a lot of things to go with, but um, in terms of just kind of building, she does have a lot going for her. Santana and Ortiz defeats Liam Gray and, and Aiden Elias. Um... The Inner Circle members cut a promo at the beginning of the show talking about uh, their last tag team title match in M Walk and how they're back in the title hunt. This is a decent match back and forth. Santana and Ortiz do look strong as usual, but uh, Aiden Alanis, who uh, has been a mainstay in places like Evolve before, well, mainstay might be an overstatement, um, had been used in Evolve due to his affiliation with AR Fox's school before. And there's some good offense for uh, Alanis as well as Santana Ortiz winning it with a combo of powerbomb and a kick to the face of Alanis. Scorpio Sky defeating Trevor Reed. Sky, Sky's partner, Ethan Page, was not at ringside for the match. He's on, he's on commentary with uh, White and Tony Schiavone. Uh, this is an AEW uh, debut for Trevor Reed. Solid one as he works really well with Sky. Sky goes back and forth with him. Wind yet again with a submission heel hook and basic things there. Brian Cage and Powerhouse Hobbs with hooks defeat uh, Trevor Aaron and Kendall Blake. Blake and Aaron make their AEW debuts tonight. So many debuts, I, don't, I think it's kind of goofy to have people still debuting when you don't have roles for everyone on your roster or even close to it. Hobbs looks impressive. And at one point, he hits the nine uh, body slams in a row gimmick on Blake. Hobbs and Cage dominant the entire way. And then uh, they are pretty aggressive here. Tag team division could use a team like this. Cage wins with a drill claw. And they've kind of sort of half abandoned the uh, Taz and uh, his crew not getting a long story yet again. Evil Uno with negative one defeats Danny Limelight. Uh, prep for Uno's TV, uh, TNT Championship Challenge against Miro on Friday. Uno hits has a backstage segment with the rest of the Dark Order members. And he kind of does a BTE skit. Um, decent match. Limelight is amazing and has a lot of potential. It has an outstanding performance as he always does. Uno looks ready enough for the TV squash on Friday, which, if it's not a squash, then what's the point of it? Um, and Uno wins with something evil, a ripcord flatliner. Uh, crowd is cheering for negative one, a.k.a. the kid, um, as, the, as things close. Ethan Page defeats Mike Seidel. Um... Sky's on commentary for this match, supporting Paige and talking about his current feud with Sting and Darby Allen. Sky is really good at interplaying with Wright and should get more promo time. He's just got a lot of charisma that's underutilized. And um, um, the crowd is into the match. Ethan Page, I think, is one of the most underrated people on the AEW roster. Page wins after hitting... The Ego's Edge and remains undefeated as a single competitor in AEW. Acclaimed to defeat Dark Orders, Alan Five Angels, and Alex Reynolds. Uh, like Dark Order, the Acclaimed are super over with this particular crowd, as I would expect them to be. Um, 
next chapter has uh, an awesome rap, as he often does. Angels and Riddles does a great job of making Caster and Bowens look awesome. A lot of good selling. Uh, Angels in particular can sell just about anything very well. I think he's wasted in Dark Order, and they should do some um, different things with him. He's got good babyface fire. Uh, Acclaimed wins. Reynolds gets distracted and hits and get the hit, gets hit with the boombox, leading to Bowens making the pin. Acclaimed remains the number two ranked team in the division. Statlander with best friends in Orange Cassidy defeats Queen Amita. Uh, Statlander gets a huge pop. I think they could do a lot with her alien gimmick if they just put something into it. Uh, Shivani and Wright, Queen Amita can speak four languages, they say. That is the highlight of the match as far as she's concerned. She has a decent enough showing, gets the crowd cheering for her in a couple of spots. Statlander uh, counters and wins the match with the Big Bang Theory. Uh, and she's 7-0 and on the year. Amita is someone that may get signed by AEW if they need more women. Anyway, uh, Varsity Blondes with Julia Hart defeating Ryan Nemeth and J.D. Drake with the Wingman. I don't necessarily like the Wingman characters, but it's here. The Blondes cut a promo earlier in the show talking about their failed title challenge at the Young Bucks a few weeks ago. They are certainly... Uh, one of the better teams in AEW for sure during the match. Nemeth destroys Hart's sign, supporting the Blondes. She's interesting in the cheerleader act. I'm not sure it's necessary, but it does make them different. Nemeth works uh, aggressive, and Blondes do the babyface overcoming in peril thing. Uh, Griff Garrison has a... Pretty good shot at being a big star and is growing along well. Blondes win after Eric Coleman and remain the number one team in the tag rankings. Wouldn't mind seeing them with the Young Bucks again in the future. Hiroshita defeating Diamante. Diamante is not a character that I get, but, and obviously Shida is the former women's champion. I understand why they're still using her in a strong place. This is her first match after losing uh, her championship at Double or Nothing. Against Britt Baker, Diamante cut the promo talking about her match with Sheeta. Former women's champion also debuts uh, a new hairstyle for the match. Uh, Diamante does do a lot more back and forth and is a bit more in a showcase position in this match. Sheeta works very intense and fire match, almost trying to get the idea back that she needs to be on top. She wins the uh with the Kokina, she begins uh, to regain momentum coming back for the title. And that will close us for today. Much better dark than average in the sense that it flowed, it moved well, and it didn't feel like a slog to get through. Um, we'll be back with more right after this.